Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, I've been MIA for a little bit because actually for about a week, a little over a week, I was getting my bathroom redone. So I wasn't staying here because I sleep during the day and they were working on the bathroom during the day and that wasn't going to work for me. My, my bathroom's in my room. It's back there. <laughs> um, so I was actually staying at like my mom's house and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then I've been busy with work and track. I actually just had a track meet today, so I'm wearing, wearing this polo, which actually has this logo on it. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's been a little while since I've done a haul, and I have quite a bit of stuff to show you guys. And let's get started. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and start with Lush. I went into Lush about a week ago. First thing that I decided to get was a mask. I like their masks. Um, I've tried the cupcake one before. It was good, but I wanted to try something different, so I got Cosmetic Warrior. I haven't used this yet. I really should. I'm going to use it tonight, but I've been, just like I said, I've been busy. I haven't really been home. Look at that. Oh my god, it's all on the top. I don't know why. I don't know why it's all on the top. It wasn't like that before. I think it's because I dropped it, actually. But yeah, but it smells like the, uh, I have a juicer. It reminds me of that. The next thing that I decided that I wanted to get was a conditioner. And I wanted to try that one. It has a really funky name and it's supposed to be really good for dry hair. I forget what it's called. I'll put it somewhere around here. <laughs> but it smelled terrible. And I was like, there, no. No. I can't do that. It just smelled way too bad for me. I didn't like the way it smelled. So I decided to try Retread. And I have used this a couple of times. It's not bad. Um, it kind of reminds me a lot going on of the, I did a review on it not that long ago, the Organics Moroccan Argon Oil Conditioner. Be, and it reminds me of that is because when it goes on my hair, it doesn't feel like conditioner going on. It, doesn't, it feels like I could put the whole entire bottle on me and it still doesn't feel like it's moisturizing my hair. However, the difference between this one and the Moroccan Oil by Organics is this one actually makes my hair soft and feel good after it out of the shower and when I rinse it out and stuff. The other one doesn't. This one is good. I actually like this one. It actually helps a lot with the flyaways on the top of my head. I have a lot of little baby flyaways, and I noticed that those weren't as bad with this. Um, smell is okay. It's very different smelling. You can see how much I've used. I've used this probably um, three, three, four times. It doesn't really smell like anything that I can describe, but it's not necessarily like a, mm, that smells so good smell. It's just different. It's, well, it's not good and it's not bad. But I actually like this conditioner so far. The next thing I got was a body wash. It's called the Olive Branch. It smells so good. The, uh, I actually wanted to get Turkish Delight because that one smells freaking amazing too. It, it's the same size as the Retread jar. It was just really expensive. And it wasn't even a body wash. It's like a body moisturizer in the shower that you rinse off. So I was like, eh, I'll do that next time if I decide I wanted to. Anyway, this one is the Olive Branch. It kind of smells like man to me. It kind of reminds me of like a man in the scent, that kind of smell. And it smells really good. I like it. And the last thing I picked up is a massage bar in a tin to put it in. Um, it's like a milk chocolate one. It's one of the best smelling ones in my opinion. And it actually, I was looking through the newspaper that they give you. It says you could eat this if you wanted to. So since it told me I could, I decided I was going to try it. And I like took a little, I just nibbled a little bar. No, it, it smelled, it tastes like soap to be honest. <laughs> so if it tells me I'm going to eat it, I'm going to see what it tastes like. And it didn't taste good. Nail polishes that I picked up recently. Uh, I wanted to pick up butter. I have butter and I actually really like them. I feel like they're the best long lasting nail polish out there. So I picked up two new shades. I picked up HRH, which is nice purple, and Fairy Lights, which is like a metallic y pink. Um, and this is very metallic, by the way. I wore it the other day. I really, really like butters. I definitely feel like they're worth the money. They are the longest lasting that won't chip on me so far. So if you're wondering why some people's nail polishes last longer than yours, I'd say yours will last like two days maybe before it chips. And other people's can go like a freaking week before there's chips. It's because you probably have oily nail beds. It never occurred to me that your nail beds could be oily, but I'm oily everywhere. And then someone finally told, I think it was like a manicurist, Violent told me it's because you have oily nail beds, and that makes so much sense. It's lifting the nail polish off your your nail beds. That's why. 
this I wore this one like I said last week or a couple days ago and it lasted a good three days before it chipped on me which is a record for me um so yeah I like them the other nail polish that I picked up were the new wet and wild ones that everyone's raving about um mega last and I picked it up in tropicalia tropicalia yeah and but cement. They're cheap. They're only like, uh, I want to say $3. And I actually have the Tropicalia one on my nails now. Just put them on so I'll let you know how lasting power goes. The one thing I don't like about it is the brush. Not a big fan of the brush. It is really fat and cheap. Obviously, it's only $3. But it's like really a fat brush. Um, it's like bigger than my pinky so when I go to put it on my pinky I get it on the skin automatically. I also picked up this wet and wild uh, cream shadow stick and the reason why I picked this up is I've been looking for a color to do on the lower oh uh, god waterline couldn't think of what the name was waterline that wasn't a white but more of like a skin tone to help brighten me up a little bit and uh, this is pretty much what I was looking for it is 130 pixie so, yeah, I actually have it on now. It's not too, too noticeable, which is what I like. Makeup removing things that I picked up. I picked up more wipes. I got the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. And then I picked up uh, eye makeup removing pads, just in case. Because, actually, the tea tree oil ones that I showed in the last one is really dumb of me to think that I could use that on my eyes, but... How would you use tea tree oil in your eyes? So yeah, they burned. <laughs> but I did it anyway. So I picked these up just to have right here on my desk that I could take makeup off easily. Not have to worry about it. Next stuff I picked up. Um, after I bought the Viva Glam 2 ones and decided that I absolutely loved that lipstick. That lipstick stayed amazing. Um, I put it on, put lip gloss on, went to work, and I thought there was no way this lipstick still my lip. The lip gloss that obviously came off, and I was like, there's no way this lipstick could still be on. And it was probably like seven hours into working, and I went into the bathroom, and I realized the lipstick was still on my lips that I was like sold. I was like, I had to pick up more. Um, so I picked up two shades and another lip gloss. I picked up Please Me which is actually a pink. I decided, I, both of these are pink actually, so uh, I'm branching out a little here, <laughs> which is like a baby pink. And I actually have that on my lips now with a gloss on. I'm going to show you the gloss in a second. And then I also decided just to go ahead and pick up the Viva Glam uh, Nikki because I was like, you know what, it is super, super pink as you can see. And I decided, you know what, if I really don't like it, it's not that big of a deal because I am supporting a cause by buying it. So... As you can see, these are them two together. This, the Viva Glam Nikki is definitely a blue base because it's more of a cool pink. This is more of a, uh, it's definitely like a baby pink, but like a, almost like a, more of a brown based. So yeah, that's them. Um, I will say that this I could never wear alone. It is way too pink for me, way, way out of my comfort zone. So when I do wear, if I ever do wear a pink that's way, way too pink for me, um, to counteract the pink and help cut it out a little bit, I always wear like a, this is more like a very neutral, orangey, taupey color that's very block, like very pigmented. And what that does is it helps to counteract that color. This is Urban Decay. Max Pocket Rocket and that's the color so this is the lip gloss right here and then this is the lipstick with nothing on top of it and obviously I'm gonna have to do two lines to show you the difference stupid sorry I'm gonna take the lip gloss and put it over top of one so you can see the difference it helps uh, turn it into a more peachy pink and not be so bright and it's the one that's in between the two the bright pink and then lip gloss so yeah so that makes it definitely more wearable for me. When I bought the Please Me, which is the light baby pink color, uh, she put this gloss on, which is the Marcel Wanderers Lip Gloss and Julia on top. And I literally just bought this not that long ago. What did I make the movie? movie what movie? What did I make the last review like a month ago? I've barely used this. And before it was really separated that you could tell. And it's like all the way down to here already. I've already used at least a quarter of it. 
at least a third of it probably. And I literally haven't worn it that much. I took it to work with me one day, so I put it on a couple times. I put it on here and there, and put it on for this, you know. These things don't last long. And this is the Marcel one, so it's more expensive. It was $22 or however much it was. Anyway, that's a rant. Cream color base and Hush, which I have on my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. Um, it's like a peachy color. It's pretty much, to me, these cream color bases seem like paint pots to me. I mean, they're the exact same concept. I could wear this on my eyelids if I wanted to. However, the only thing with this is very gritty compared to this. This is creamy. I don't know if it's just mine, but it's like when I roll my finger over it, it feels like there's sand in it or something. Um, so I feel like it's the exact same thing as a paint pot, so I don't know what the main really big difference is supposed to be because you can use this, she put it on my cheekbone and above my brow and all that, but you can do that with the paint pots too if you really wanted to, so... And then two blushes by them. I picked up Gingerly, which I ordered these online, so I was hoping that when I ordered these that I would like them, and I do, so I'm lucky. I did review. I always do extensive research on things if I'm going to buy things online to make sure that I'm hopefully going to like them. Anyway, I picked up Gingerly, which is kind of like a bronzer in a sense, except not, I guess. It is more brownie color. And then I picked up Fleur Power which is like a pinky, bright pink. I decided that I wanted to try Estee Lauder foundation. This is the double matte oil control makeup in 08 Warm Tawny. Bought this online too, so I did a lot of research on so trying to figure out what shade it would be and if I'd actually like it. And I actually did a pretty good job. The color works great for me. Uh, foundation wise, I hate that it's not a pump. I have to put my finger over it. It smells okay. It smells like foundation. Um, but I hate that it's on a pump. Uh, I like the coverage that it does. But, however, I do get, I still get shiny eventually in this. I haven't found any makeup really that I have don't get shiny in. So, it's a good makeup though. I like it. With that, I got this free gift with purchase that gives you a whole bunch of sample. It's supposed to be the makeup one. However, it's all skincare except the lipstick that they gave you. Which I think I'm going to do a giveaway with that because I'm not going to use any of this. I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some giveaways coming up. So I went into Macy's to look at Origins, and um, I picked up the Origins Zero Oil Pore 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 Purifying Toner. So as soon as I'm out of my other toner, I'm going to start using that. I picked up the Origins A Perfect World Antioxidant Cleanser with White Tea. Which, she was trying to sell me the, what is that number one popular one? I forget what it's called, but it's their best selling one. I'll put it in the thingy around my face somewhere. It's the best selling one by them, and they were out of it, so she just gave me this one without telling me, thinking I wouldn't realize. <laughs> I realized, but whatever, I'll try it anyway. And then I picked up the Origin Super Spot Remover, which I've only used this a couple times. Um, so, I don't really know if it's really working it. Sephora did the 15% off for the VIBs this week and so I decided I was going to get stuff because I also had a $100 gift card for them as well. If you have a Discover credit card you get cash back and when you get cash back you can use that to get uh, gift cards if you want. So for $85 of my cash back which is like free, it technically considered like free gifts in a sense because you're paying that money and they're giving you that money back for using their credit card. $85, I got a $100 gift card for Sephora. I only use it online, so I bought stuff online this week and used my 15% off coupon. And what I decided to get, decided to get the Shiseido Extra Smooth Sun Protection Cream for your face in SPF 38. It has a high percentage of zinc oxide, which I like. It's supposed to be good, excuse me, for oil control and acne. Um, so yeah been liking that and then also decided to pick up the uh, Shiseido sun protectant face powder I already own the liquid and I really really like that I've been wearing that a lot especially since the practice and having meats outside I've been wearing that a lot so I wanted to try this and how it is is you buy the compact the blue part and then you buy your foundation separately and put the foundation into the compact 
So I picked up the same color that I have in the foundation, which is SP60, and it looks super, super dark, and I did reviews, I did research on it before I picked my color, and I automatically said, I'm gonna pick my color in, the, in my liquid, because it's probably gonna be the same. And people said that the, it looks really dark and the compact, and then when you put it on your face, it's lighter. And it's true, because this is a perfect color match for me. I'm wearing it on my face now with the liquid uh, Shishado. A couple other things I picked up, uh, I wanted to try the Hourglass Primer, but I didn't want to buy the big whole bottle of it. So I bought the mini bottle, $17. Um, this also has high percent of um, zinc oxide in it. It's supposed to be good for oil control and good for acne, and a lot of people tend to rave about this on YouTube. So I figured I'd try it. Smaller version, though. Uh, another thing that I heard a good reviews about is the Fairy Drops Mascara. Excited about that. Uh, I heard it's good for Asian eyes, it's good if you have the really pin straight eyelashes, it's supposed to be good with curling them, and that's what I have, so I'm excited about to try this. And then the last thing I got was the Benefit Kit, it must be called the Pretty Committee, because there's a little sign for it right there. This is actually a very, very good deal. When I bought it online, I thought there was no way I'm going to get full sizes of the stuff that I got. But I actually got three full sizes and a small and a sample size of one thing, and I'm pretty sure this was $44. So what you get in it, the sample sizing that you get is high bean, which is 0.13 ounces, which it is tiny, but to be honest, if I ever wanted to buy the big high beam, I don't feel like I would ever use that whole thing up because the little goes a long way. So it is tiny. And this is a highlighting thing. You get a full version of the Stay Don't Spray Primer Concealer thing. Stay Put Primer and Concealer. I've heard good things about that because you can use it under your eyes and then put your concealer on top. Uh, full size of the Eye Bright Instant Eye Brightener. And then a full size of the Bella Bomba uh, Blush. Which, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure the blushes by Benefit are $30 themselves. So if you're getting a $30 blush, you're getting everything else for $14. So, I mean, that was a pretty good deal. I thought there was no way I was getting full sizes of all of them. Or Victoria's Secret-wise, um, I ordered stuff online, and I was going to spend, I was only at, like, 80 some dollars and you get free shipping if you spend $100. So I was like, eh, and I was figured it out and with shipping I was going to spend over $100 for that 80 some dollars worth of purchases so I was like I might as well just pick up a couple extra things to make it $100 and pay the same price so it's pretty much I would have spent the same money amount of money if I didn't get these because I would have had to pay for shipping or I could have just picked up these things and got free shipping and paid the same price it's like getting more products for the exact same amount of money so why not you know um, anyway, so I picked up the Beach Sexy Tinted Self Tan Body Spray, which is just a tanning spray. Uh, I haven't used it yet. It's a spray. We'll see how that goes. And then I picked up the Take Me to the Beach Sexy uh, little kit, which gives you the bronzing lotion, which is pretty much just like makeup for your body, and the self tanning lotion. So they have a spray version and a lotion version, and then a little lip gloss. So that's what that looks like. I want to show you guys my, um, I bought a new makeup storage kit. It's just kind of sitting in the middle of my room right now because I need to fix it before I put all my makeup in. Put the screws in wrong and now I can't get some of them out. I'll show you. So I'll show you. Don't mind my messy room. This is the Alex 9 storage case. And when I put it together, I thought that I had a defective case and that all of them just didn't open. And as you can see, mine gets, mine gets stuck right here and then opens. Is because I was supposed to put them in like this, where the screw's on the inside, like this. Um, however, I didn't do that. I, Looking at the picture, it looked like it was supposed to go that the screws were supposed to go on this side. So the screws were hitting in there and now I can't get a couple of them out unfortunately because I stripped it so I want to get pliers and pry, pry them out before I put all the makeup in but I'm super excited about this little case and um, my old ones that right there so that's all going to be going so I uh, hope you enjoyed that guys and I will talk to you later bye